All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Khabib Nurmagomedov and Damian Maya. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon, D.C. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here tonight. The moment he walked in the AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson, and now it's showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC, and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I did. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who we first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 28 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, Damian Maia! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nibago Meda! All right, commit to the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, do not fall. So here he is, the UFC welterweight champion, Damian Maya. It still sounds good, and this man may be the best pure grappler in the UFC today. We've seen a lot of world-class jiu-jitsu practitioners in the UFC, but few have seen their grappling transition as well to MMA as Damian Maya's has in the big show. DC, didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 
right, here we go with round one. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to set up a takedown here early and ultimately get to some of those ground strikes. He's definitely wanting to get on a shot. Right away, this guy knows exactly what he is at his core, and he uses it as effectively as anyone who's seen in the octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, knee to the body here in the clinch. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Boom, straight left hand. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Straight punch lands. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked to the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. What a punch. A single collar tie there. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. He is all about that left kick to the body. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Punch over the top. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Maya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Left hook counter. Tie. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Big kick land. Well, Javier Mendez, Tony Johnson, all the guys at AKA, kind of like what they're seeing out of Khabib Nurmagomedov striking here early in DC. Beautiful head kick. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, man, another leg kick lands right on the button, causing a lot of damage to the legs of his opponent, who hasn't mustered anything up in terms of an appropriate defense. He's got a check. Maybe he can catch one of those kicks to turn it into a takedown. He just needs to do something. For me, I would try to get close. Just not allow him to gauge range to throw leg kicks. If you're chest to chest, there is no kick. Get close to your opponent. Take that kick away from him. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. He blocks the punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful. Big kick. Again, back into this position. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Nice straight punch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. All right, single collar tie now. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's still there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. 
his opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony, always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Right hand punch to the clinch. Big kick land. Oh, brutal leg kicks to that lead leg. Those are going to start to add up. Just out of range with that left hook. Good punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Maya. Single collar tie now. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands off. Rip the body there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Thus far, 81 total strikes have now found the target for Damian Maia. And connecting with about a 41% accuracy rate here against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Maya's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Right on the button. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand the strikes with anybody in the UFC. Oh, he heard a bat with a jab. Great punch. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Just missed with that right hand. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. You got to check these low leg kicks. Under a minute now to go. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one. What a big time thing. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Marco Medov gets the takedown late in the round. That's useful. Oh, oh we're getting a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. in the mouth. Back mount now. 
10 seconds remain in round two. Maya's going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice land there by Nurmagomedov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. He loaded up with the right too. Well, punch counter's been busy tonight, DC. 112 total strikes have now landed for Damian Maia. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit. 39% now on the connections against Khabib Nurmagomedov. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. And there comes the separation now. Beautiful punch. Blocks the shot. Ooh, big shot to the body. Some nice back and forth action here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Get him down. Big power shot there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nurmagomedov gets the tie clinch here. All right, less than three minutes to go now in round three. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, collar tie. We have now crossed the midpoint of this fight. Trying to establish that jab once again. Right punches there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He can't even, he can barely stand. Big punch lands through the middle. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. that jab. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nurmagomedov. 
Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. 30 seconds now to go in the round. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Right hand punch with clinch. And he connects with the punch. Maya, oh, nice block there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the all right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. And they set him. Real nice body kick land. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Tags him with the uppercut. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. A really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Nermago Metal. Good stick. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish, John. Oh, he might be out. He went high on that one. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Nice strike. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Maya. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on note. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Under two minutes to go. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Liver kick. Single collar tie now. 
That kick blocked by Nurmako Medov. Oh, big punch land. Oh, that's a big weapon. Man. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. The right hand just misses. Ooh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Trying to stay in this fight. Just misses with the jab. I don't want to that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 29 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by so the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knocking. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.